This is John Jalam GNHV, your number one home of politics. Subscribe. Sit down and get blessed by my best friend. Honey, I don't know what to say, but you have made me so proud, and you've done such a fantastic job. Let me tell you something, church. I knew that Pastor Kathy had it, but man, I did not know she had this much. I tell you, every Sunday I watch her. Last Sunday I was watching her. And I'm thinking, my goodness me. I knew that this girl had it. But I did not know she had it this much. God has tremendously poured on this girl. She has just come into the fullness. She, I tell you. You know, and I know you can, you know. It wasn't the will of God, you know, maybe we can talk about all that till the cows come home. Is it the will of God? Is it not the will of God? I believe in the sovereignty of God. And I believe that there is nothing that happens that God hasn't allowed. Even if it looks like it's negative, the God of heaven allowed it because there's an agenda that we may not be able to see, that we're going to see at the end of it all. Can somebody say amen? Sometimes, or sometimes things happen and you don't understand. But one of the things I thank God for, for this season that has happened is to see Pastor Kathy entering into this powerful grace and so as much as it's been painful what i've been going through it is still such a joy for this woman of god to be raised and to pour out the way she has done because i promise you if i was around she would not have preached as much because this is my place but God somehow just allowed it so that we can see, has she been a blessing? Those who are sitting down, I want you to stand up. The Bible says that we should give honor to whom honor is due. And honey, as your husband, I celebrate you. As your husband, I'm so proud of you. You know, last Sunday she spoke about how I was chasing after my own. I know, I know, I know, I watched that. And she was saying how we go and see them in the supermarket and we look at each other and wonder, what was I chasing after? Honey, I thank God that that day on the call box, I had the voice of God and I had the wisdom to obey the voice of God. Who you become is not just a wife, but you become an amazing spiritual mother, a prophet of God. An incredible servant of the Most High God. Can we please honor the servant of God? And it gives me joy to bring to the microphone today another time Pastor Kathy Kuna to come and share the word of God. Oh, can you put your hands together for Pastor Kathy? You know, when we started preaching together, preacher said, you want to preach. Um, I did not know, baby, what you carried. God has just surprised me. He has just surprised me. And uh, again, I'm so proud of you. And uh, I know you're going to have the best daughters of Zion this year. Convention. We're going to have, we're going to have, we're going to have the best daughters of Zion convention. And I know that you are anointed for us today. Raise your hand to us, the altar. Our dear loving Father, in the name of Jesus, use your servant today. Let our ministers and oracle of God. Let us hear the voice of God. Speak to us, O oh God. Minister to us, King of Glory. Help us, O oh God. 
in Jesus' name. Amen. Welcome, baby. Amen. Oh, Joe. Jesus is Lord. The things you have said, I don't know if my, uh, this lash, they, they better be glued up well. <laughs> because who express my gratitude just to see you here, just to see you here taking your position. I really, I am so grateful to God. I am so grateful to God. And I want to thank God for you raising me and us as your sons and daughters. And they, they have come today just, just to honor the Father. Just, just to let you know that we absolutely are, are carrying your grace. Different spheres of, of influence, wherever it is that we are. And even in the, in the marketplace. We want to just say thank you. Thank you for not giving up. Thank you for c crying out for us. Thank you that even now you still cry out this morning for your, your bishop, your dad. What an amazing mighty man of valor. And we just want to let you know that we love you. And you look very handsome and you look younger. Am I correct? I'm telling you he looks younger in every way, form and shape. I'm telling you. I'm telling you now. Yeah, so... <laughs> You believe me. And Pastor Andrew says, Mom, we believe you. Just appreciate Dad with a hand clap of 